Hey hey folks, welcome back to Final Fantasy 8 with me, Beanie 81 Today, I am right outside of Windhill. Uh, I remember this place from so many episodes ago, back when um, we were in D District Prison and dreaming of Laguna and Kairos uh, helping this small uh, village. As you can see, Windhill Bluffs is the area outside it. Uh, just thought I'd show that. Either way, let's... There's a seed here. What? Hey youngsters, what can we do for you? We're mercenaries hired by this town. You better not mess with us. Plus, we graduated from garden, you know. Huh? You're garden students too? And you're actually a seed? <laughs> so that makes you our junior. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Alright. So, ever since Laguna was the monster hunter back here, it seems like somebody else, uh, they've hired a couple of seeds to do the job from. Your customer are just looking to play. A uh, customer. I'm guessing he's meaning cards, which I'm not playing cards right now. I don't think this guy has anything uh, special to give us. Nothing I particularly want to buy, actually. I'm just kind of exploring here. This is a nice little optional place you don't have to come to, but there is a side quest we can do. I'm just being very explorative right now. Uh, hello? It's really slow here during the afternoon. The day goes by really fast if you just sit around here. Fair enough. Alright, anyway. I'm not going to talk to everybody. So... Let's head on up to the main little village square. Or town square, is it? No, it's a village more than a town, ain't it? It's not big enough to be a town. Ooh! Chickabo! Duh! Want one. Anyway. Ooh! Hello? Oh, no. Not gonna follow around. I'm not that creepy. Not just yet. Have that quits this. Um, you may notice, uh, by the way, this is... I have been doing a lot of grinding between this and the last thing I recorded, um, which was the giant cactuar fight. Although I don't know if I've shown that yet. <laughs> um, but you may notice my levels are a little different. Uh, although that really shouldn't come up at all once we're in this area, since... I don't think there's any combat whatsoever here. Now that the seeds are watching the area, it's fairly safe. Hello. You can't get me in here. Nah, 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 nah. Fair enough. All right, let's head into the mansion. This is where the side quest is located. If we talk to this guy here, my precious vase is missing. The vase that has been passed down in my family for many generations. So many unusual things are happening lately. I bet you there's a ghost here. Hmm. The ghost, you say? Well, this is a uh, oddly placed suit of armour. I'm looking for my feet. Have you seen my feet? Quit, sis. Come on. Do it to Zell. Oh, Irvine, you're not going to scare me of that. Ah. Uh, hmm? Bah. Uh, a chickabo? What's this? A vase piece. And that wasn't my vocals uh, going before the dialogue there. I generally was asking. Uh, myself what's this, so I just didn't bother to read out the vocals when I scrolled said it. Rather than repeat myself, uh, I think next we go in here. We head... oh wow. I guess nobody's taken over it since rain passed away. Or if they have, they're very, very messy. Rain. No. Hey, who do you think you are barging into my house like this? Get out of here right now! Uh, sorry, we'll be gone soon. I, um... There's something, uh... Pre I thought I told you to... What's with you? Do I remind you of someone? I'm not her ghost or anything, alright? Then again, there are spirits lurking within these walls. Hmm... I'm pretty sure... The... Second... Uh, vase fragment is up here. Although, I may be completely wrong, uh, as it would seem. Cat. 
you don't bother me, Adam. What's wrong? What? Cats can talk too? Um... What? What? <laughs> okay then. Windhill is a very strange place nowadays, it would seem. Um... <sighs> now, the idea for this quest is we're actually looking, I believe, for four chickaboos. Uh, and each one of them drops a base fragment. We've already seen one on our way in. And I will go and grab that soon. There's no picture. I wonder if someone took it. It's a nice little uh, side quest, this, just because it brings you back here and shows that they've really... It, a lot has changed since um, Lagoon was rescued by Rain. That dream sequence happened. And yet this place is still exactly the same. Nothing. Okay, I'm just kind of running around wildly pressing the X button, I will admit. Um, now, I know where... Well, let's go get the one we know where it is. That makes the most sense, right? So, this way... How are you today? Magnificent weather, weather isn't it? Are you here to visit an acquaintance? What do you think of our village? It's very small and boring, isn't it? Uh, I believe there might be one in here as well. Do you like flowers? Yes. Those white ones are really beautiful, aren't they? A woman, a woman ra named Rain gave them to me. They bloom beautifully every year. It's unfortunate she's no longer with us. If only she had stayed away from that outsider. Nobody understood flowers as well as Rain. What's this? There's a base piece. So apparently it's not all based around the um, uh, chickaboos. And might as well take this. I'm pretty much picking up every magic I can at this point. Um, worst comes worst, I fill an inventory of magic. I can just pass it on to another person. Nah. There we go. Uh, what? The squall. Squall. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was uh, really, really rude. Um. Come on, pick it up. Why is he not picking it up? Uh, I'm pressing the X button here, but he's... he's being, oh, there we go. He's very, very touchy. Okay, so that's free found. And uh, just for good measure, I'm going to uh, say sorry to this little chickaboo. And... Oh! Squall! Would you... That was really... That was, uh, and... Squall, you, you're being a bit of a dick. Just... Uh, oh, something else. Casual greens. And Phoenix down. Okay, Chickaboo, you're not making it easier for yourself by making yourself seem like a pinata. Just saying. Uh, and yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to blame Squall now. It's it's kind of. Uh, it's kind of. Oh oh god. Touche. Touche game. <laughs> All right. So, uh, let's just carry on, shall we? Um, right, I'm not sure where this fourth one is. I could have sworn it was in uh, Rain's old house. Uh, let's go back up there. and see. I've just, I did just have a quick look at my um, guide. It does say to check the counter next to the cat, but there isn't really a counter next to the cat. There's a table, maybe? Ah. supposed to be in here. Uh, 
Let me do that. I'm walking just to see if I can get this a bit easier. Considering how touchy some of the things are in this game, like you've got to be in exactly the right position. So I am doing it a little wrong here, but I spoke to the owner. Alright, so there. So just for uh, references sake, if you're doing this yourself, what you're supposed to do is come upstairs, speak to the owner. I thought I told you to. What's with you? Do I remind you of someone? I'm not her ghost or anything, alright? Then again, these are, there are spirits lurking within these walls. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, then you head downstairs, and you're supposed to examine the flowers to the bottom right of the screen. But it's only these flowers, really. Didn't mean to do that. Um, but as nothing's happening. Hmm. Okay, this is a bit weird. Uh, I'll be right back, I guess. I thought I told you to... What's with you? Do I remind you of someone? I'm not her ghost or anything, alright? Then again, there are spirits lurking within these walls. And talk to her again. Spirits inspire my art. Scared you there for a sec, huh? It's true, though. Often I would sit in this room quietly and all of a sudden sense a mis mysterious fragrance in the air. There are white flowers downstairs. Can you sense their fragrance? Flowers downstairs, you say? Yep, still not letting me click them. Oh no, there we go. Rain? Nope, just the cat. Or oh, the cat's pal. What's that? Received the vase piece. Okay, so what I was missing there, for the most part, was that you were supposed to speak to the uh, lass upstairs multiple times. I was only speaking to her the once, and that meant that it didn't trigger the um, didn't trigger her to say uh, the white flowers downstairs. Can you sense their fragrance? Which is obviously the hint to go down and look at the white flowers. Now we have all four vase pieces. We talk to this guy again. The, the bro that broken piece, my ever so precious vase, now in such pathetic shape. Oh, well, I'll have to glue the pieces back together. Let me know if you find any more pieces. Wait, we have all the pieces. Thank you, oh, kind young ones. Here's a little thank you. Make use of it during your travels. Received a holy stone. That's it for Windhill. Um, it's not, not much. The holy stone, it's not a great item, but it can be useful. You can refine some uh, holy magic from it. Um, off the top of my head, I don't know if it has any other uses. We'll have a quick look. Yeah, it's just basically the holy magic, but still, that's fairly useful. Um, and, honestly, it's just nice to come back here. Again, it's another little area that I just didn't need to be in the game, but I love the fact that it is. So, but with that all said and done, uh, I am just going to do, uh, most likely, just cut in, I believe, back when we saw that suit of armour, there was different dialogue that could happen depending on the characters in your party. So I'm going to just do a quick cut and show you what can be here, what the different characters say. Okay, so I had a quick look, and there is only actually uh, f like two dialogues, I believe. Um, what Irvine said uh, during the previous bit, the, the last time we uh, checked the armour, is pretty much what's being going to be said by everybody, except for Zell. But you can't actually look at this armour unless you've got Quixus in your party, which is kind of cheeky, I've got to admit. It's the only way to find one of the vase pieces, but it's character specific. Either way. Uh, I'm looking for my feet. Have you seen my feet? Quit this, cut it out. 
Oh, you knew? Yo, man, quit joking around. It ain't funny. And you do kind of get the uh, funniest little dialogue there with uh, Zell and your party. But anyway, boy, that's it. So, ooh, what? <laughs> Bye, Zell. I like how Zell literally did run up the stairs. A chickaboo. Hey again, Zell. <laughs> Alright, that's it uh, for this episode. That really is it. So, I'll see you guys later. Catch you next time.